Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 8 to the power of x plus 1, plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 72. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, First start with a to the power of x plus 1 plus a to the power of x is equal to 72. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So a to the power of x plus 1, that's going to equal a to the power of x times a to the power of 1. So now I have this plus a to the power of x is equal to 72. Now from here, because both of these terms have a to the power of x, I'm going to factor out a to the power of x. So now I have a to the power of x times, well a to the power of x times a to the power of 1 divided by a to the power of x, simply a to the power of 1, plus a to the power of x divided by a to the power of x is 1. Now this is equal to 72. Now 8 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 8, so 8 plus 1, that's going to equal 9. So I have a to the power of x times 9, is equal to 72. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 9, so then these two cancel out. Now I'm left with a to the power of x is equal to 72 divided by 9, which is 8. Now, 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So if I replace 8 with 2 to the power of 3, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 3x is equal to 3. So I have 3x is equal to 3. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So this is my answer. So now to check... I have... 8 to the power of x plus 1 plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 72. I know that x equals 1, so 8 to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 8 to the power of 1 is equal to 72. 8 to the power of 1 plus 1 is the same thing as 8 to the power of 2, which is 64, plus 8 to the power of 1 is 8 is equal to 72. 64 plus 8 is 72. So if 72 is equal to 72, and because this is right, my solution is right. All right, so I have 16 to the power of x is equal to 32. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 16 to the power of x is equal to 32. So 16, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. And 32, we wanna, we, since we want to make both of these the same base, I need to find what power of 2 makes 32. Well, 2 to the power of 5, this is going to be double of 16, and double of 16 is 32. So 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. So now if I replace 2 to the power of 4 for 16 and 2 to the power of 5 for 32, I get 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x. So that's going to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 times x, 
and 4 times x, that's the same thing as 4x. So now I have 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, as you can see, both of these bases are the same. So if that's true, then that means both the exponents are the same as well, meaning 4x is equal to 5. So I have 4x is equal to 5, and this is a simple equation to solve. All I have to do is divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 5 over 4. So this is my answer. So now to check, my original equation was 16 to the power of x is equal to 32. And I know x equals 5 over 4, so I have 16 to the power of 5 over 4 is equal to 32. So now, 16, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 5 over 4 is equal to 32. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4 times 5 over 4 is equal to 32. These two 4s cancel out, so now I'm left with 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so I have 32 is equal to 32, and this is right, so my solution is right. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, well, we know that a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m, right? These two are the same thing because m and n, these two are interchangeable. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, this means that a to the power of n times m is going to equal a to the power of n to the power of n. And this also means that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2x. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And I can also switch these two. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x, that's going to be x over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now 2, this is the same thing as 4 over 2. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 4 over 2 to the power of x. So now I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 4 over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now x and 1 over x simply cancel out, so I'm left with x over 2 is equal to, same thing over here, 4 over 2. Now if I multiply both sides by 2, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 4. So this is my answer.